Hi there, I'm Aki from Aki Gaming and welcome to another episode on Fire Emblem Heroes. In this video, we will be looking at the new hero from the latest Grand Hero Battle, Zephyr the Liberator. As the King of Burn, Zephyr was once a kind-hearted boy who became delusioned with humanity due to his constant abuse by his parents. He now seeks to rid of humanity by allying with dragons. Zephyr's base stats is 168. By adding his best weapon, the total stats rating of Zephyr will be 184, which will put him at the top with Hector as the highest rated hero in the game. His 55 points in HP puts him in first place in the HP category. Not only that, he has one of the highest defense in the game with a staggering amount of 41 points despite the minus 5 penalty from his passive skill. Zephyr wields the Burns King Blade, Eclosax. It inflicts a minus 4 defense on foes within 2 spaces at the start of each turn. In other words, it's a sword with threatened defense too. His passive skill A, Life and Death, grants him a plus 5 in attack and speed in exchange of minus 5 on defense and resistance. It's a skill that contradicts his build as it lowers his defensive stats and giving him more speed which isn't useful for an armor unit. Zephyr passive skill B is Worry Fighter which prevents follow-up attack from foes and himself if his HP is 50% or higher, a skill exclusive to armor unit only. It's a very good skill for unit with low speed, especially in his case. However, it does not prevent Brave Weapon from attacking twice. His special attack, Reprisal, grants bonus to damage dealt equal to 30% of the damage suffered with a cooldown trigger of 2. This skill works great for tanks like him as he would turn the damage received into bonus damage. Not only that, because of his high HP, the potential bonus damage would also be higher. Zephyr might look like a broken character that the game designer pulled off as a prank, but he does have some weakness too. Firstly, his mobility is low as he could only walk one space at a time, which often gives ranged unit a free hitting advantage if paired with drawback or reposition. Secondly, his resistance to magic isn't that high either, which means he is quite weak against dragons and mages, especially if they are blue. Even though he has Worry Fighter to prevent follow-up attack, but a hit from Lin could easily deactivate it. So do keep an eye on his HP. Without a doubt, Zephyr is the best rate armor unit in the current game. Let's have a look at some recommended skill to further strengthen him. As some of you might have noticed, he is very similar to Effie and Hector. So you could basically build him like how you build them. For a more balanced build, you could replace Life and Death with Death Blow at his slot A. This skill grants him a plus 6 on attack during initiation. And with the removal of life and death, the penalty on his defense and resistance will also be lift, which result in a higher defense and resistance despite losing some attack and speed. But in my opinion, it's worth the trade-off. Another good skill in slot A would be Fortress Defense that grants him a plus 5 on defense, but inflicts a minus 3 on attack. A new passive you could get from a new hero, Lucas. I'm not too sure how many players are willing to do this, but another good skill to give him in slot A would be Distant Counter, a skill that allows the holder to make a counter attack disregarding distance of foes. Ranged units such as archers and mages will have an even difficult time dealing with him with this skill on since he could now hit them back. Since Zephyr's weapon already inflict defense penalty to foes, a good skill to let him inherit would be Threaten Attack in slot C. This skill inflicts a minus 5 attack penalty on foes within 2 spaces at the start of each turn. By lowering foes attack, the damage he received will be lower even more which will make him even more sturdy. To overcome his low mobility, you could let him inherit the SC skill Pivot. This skill allows him to move to the opposite side of adjacent ally. It significantly boosts his mobility by allowing him to move 2 to 3 spaces. His natural special attack, Reprisal, would only work if he received damage. In the case that his defense is too high for any foes to penetrate, a good alternative would be Bonfire or Ignis. Both special boost damage dealt by unit's defense, and since Zephyr's defense is crazily high, his damage output would be out of this world too. In conclusion, the popularity of a full armor team might not be well received for now, but with the introduction of Zephyr, I'm sure the idea of building one would increase with him bringing more possibility to the team. 
So what's your thought on Zephyr? Let's discuss. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to Aki Gaming for more interesting content. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.